Welcome to my class. We are going on with Unit 3 still. Statistical tools and their interpretation. And in that, we finished with measures of central tendency. We finished with measures of dispersion. We finished correlation. And now we are on to index numbers. And in the index numbers, we talked about what are index numbers. You can go back to my last class and see what we've done in that. And they are specialized averages, as we know, and they let us know what has been the percentage change over two periods of time in which we take up the base year, which I'm going to talk about again. I hope you know it's a base year now, and the current year. In fact, it's written as P01, that is, price index is always calculated as the current price over the base price. And how is it measured? What are the methods we are going to do today? What are the methods of measuring index numbers? Right? So here we go. Look at this. So methods of constructing index numbers. So we have two basic methods. One is the aggregative method. So this is the first one, aggregative method. And the second is average of price relative method. So second is average of the price relative method. So we are going to do these two methods today. One is again aggregative method. One is the aggregative method. And the second is again, please repeat or at least in your heads you can say that with me or can pause and wait and think. And the second one is average of price relative method. So, what are the two methods of constructing index numbers? There are two methods. One is the aggregative method, the first one, and the second is average of price relative method. Now, even when we are doing these two methods, in index numbers, we talk about weighted index and the unweighted index number. So, before we go on, before I go on to explain which we've already talked about in the previous class, what is weighted? So, the commodity, we know that commodities are taken into consideration. We select commodities. Okay, so uh, we select some commodities which are relevant representatives of the tastes, habits and customs of the people for whom the index number is to be constructed. So, based on that, then again, let me talk about the base year period or the selection of the base year. What is that? What is a base year? It is a, a year in which we take the year as fixed to which we are going to compare the current year. So, the base year should be a normal one. The year selected as base year should be free from abnormal conditions like war, droughts, famines, earthquakes, etc., booms and depressions in the um, business cycle. And of course, it should not be too far away from the current year. Okay. And uh, there is also something known as a fixed base year and a chain base year. And uh, talking about the chain base year, it is that every year the base year changes. You can keep changing them. So sometimes it's, it says, uh, it depends on the purpose of constructing the index. So um, sometimes they say that the chain base method gives a better picture as compared to the fixed base method. So anyways, now we were talking about the weighted. What do you mean by weights? Now what, ha what you, there is, a, when we're doing index numbers, there is a system of weighting, giving weights. The commodities, remember we said we have to select commodities. So when we take the commodities that are selected, that are included for the construction of index numbers, like food, clothing, housing, transport, then we know that they are not of equal importance. So therefore, weights are assigned to each of these items according to the how important they are for those people whom, for whom you are constructing the index numbers. Okay, 
And if you feel that all are equally important, then unweighted index number is constructed, which means uh, it's a sim uh, the simple, simply we take the aggregative method or the average of price relative method. So now weights are of two types. Um, okay, first we just, here we, I'm going to take a pause first and come back to it. So let's just go back. Methods of constructing index numbers, there are two methods. One is the aggregative method and the second is average of price relative method. Now in these two methods, we are going to put them under unweighted and weighted. Both are going to, be, there are only two methods. So these two methods can be used under the unweighted method and then we just call them simply simple aggregative method and the simple average of aggregative method. So when we are talking about unweighted, so what do we do? We put them as simple, simple aggregative method and simple average of price relative, not price relative method. Now, what is a price relative? Price relative simply means price of the commodity in question in the current year divided by the price of the same commodity in question of in the base year into 100. So P1 upon P0 into 100. So that becomes a price relative. So we take the average of the price relative and that's how we determine the index number. So these are the methods of constructing index numbers. So unweighted, these two methods in the unweighted world will be called simple, simple aggregative method and simple average of price relative method. Is that clear? I'm sure some of it must be clear to you. Okay, I, I, let me just see. Yeah. So in this, we, we, we can see that once again. So methods of constructing index numbers, there are only two methods, aggregative method and second is the average of price relative method. But in index numbers, we see that sometimes when all the commodities are given the same importance, we don't need weights for them then. They are unweighted. So they are put, it, put under the unweighted category. And we call them, and we are going to use these two methods itself. So we call it the simple aggregative method and the simple average of aggregative method. First get it cleared, then we will do the formula for both of these. Now once we finish with the unweighted, now let's just take these methods again. That is the aggregative method and the ab second method is the average of price relative method and use them in the weighted uh, to find out the weighted index numbers. All right. So let's just uh, take them to find out the weighted index numbers. So what do we do? So by now you know that index numbers can be unweighted and they can be weighted. So in the weighted index numbers, what do you find that the weighted, again, the aggregative method will be weighted aggregative method. The first method will be turned into weights. And the second method is, see, average of price relative method. So we put it as weighted average of price relative method. So this method becomes average of price relative method if you multiply or you uh, multiply them with weights then it becomes weighted average of price relative method and if you take the aggregative method and then you multiply it with weights that becomes weighted aggregative method which means according to the importance given so once again let me just tell you there are two methods of constructing index numbers one is aggregative method and the second is average of price relative method and index numbers can be simple, that means unweighted, that means all the commodities are of equal importance, we don't give them uh, importance separately and uh, here we have weighted index numbers, that means commodities are given uh, weights or importance, they are put according to their importance, is that right? So now let's just take the simple one. So, uh, let me just, uh, okay, so, few questions that come into my mind. Now, 
can you tell me what's an index number okay it's a specialized average designed to measure the net change in a group of related variables over two periods of time over a period of time one period whenever you're measuring a change it has to be at two points one earlier and the one the present so you can put it over a period of time so then what type of changes are measured if you ask if i may ask by the index numbers well it can be relative or percentage changes generally percentage changes as we say and uh, can you define a base year so that is a year with reference to which prices of the current year are compared to constant index number so that becomes your reference year the base year becomes your reference year and what is the value of base year it's always 100 so if you're talking about a fixed base year method what is meant by the fixed base year method so what is that the fixed base year method means that the changes for any given year are compared with a fixed year and uh, again what is meant by the chain base year method chain base year method means that the changes for any given year are compared with the prices in the preceding year and not with a fixed year okay so uh, if, if if one asks you which gives a better picture in some cases yes it is the chain base year method but if you really want to see what has been the growth over so many um, over a period of time then i'm certain then it it will be the fixed base um, period uh, the fixed based method okay now what are the two types of index numbers so unweighted index numbers which are known as simple index number and the weighted index numbers which are given according to the they are given importance according to their importance they are measured they are taken up so what if i say what is a simple index number here all the items of the series are given equal importance so there are no weights no need to give a weight over here all are of equal importance and what is meant by a weighted index number it is an index number in which different items are given different importance in terms of different weights so they're given different values so if if somebody says what is a distinguish uh, distinguish between simple index number and weighted index number so in simple index number it is based on equal weights that means all items are given have no weights as such and uh, weighted index numbers they are based on the the commodities are based on their importance okay so they're given different weights so why do, what is the purpose of assigning weights to different items so in in that case the policy makers can decide which commodities are very important they have to be brought to the fore they have to be developed or provided to the people at large that is why it becomes very important okay uh, now simple aggregative method okay then let's again just come back to it so let's just take i think i've given you all again enough of theory let's just come back to this simple aggregative method aggregative means what addition you add it up so what you do is p01 that is index number it is a number index number is a number percentage which is a specialized percentage in which you take up the commodities if we have a b c d commodities like let me just explain suppose there are items a b and c items are there so what do you do and this suppose it's p1 this is p0 okay so we take a basic we take a current year price whatever price is given as 2 3 4 and the base year price is maybe 1 to 1 okay so what we do is we will add these up so we add up p1 we add up p0 and we multiply it with 100 to get the index number all right so this is what it is sigma p1 
upon sigma p0 into 100. So you're going to add this up, add this up, put the values here into 100. That will be your index number. Is that right? So now we come to the next one. Simple average of aggregative method. Now what do we do in this? In this, we will take out the price relative. Now what is price relative? Each one. Look at, look here. So we take, say, say A. We will now calculate the price relative, which we put it as R. R. What is R? P1 into P0 into 100. Each one of this we will be doing to get the R. Okay. And then what we get is sigma R. So how do we do it? Let's just take it. Let's just say P1. What is P1 here? 2 by 1 into 100. So what is B? P1 is 3 divided by 2 into 100. This is 4 divided by 1 into 100. So P1 upon P0 into 100. So whatever you get here, then you will sum up all the relatives. And what you do is, index number is summation of all the relatives, all the price relatives, divided by n. n here would be total number. Total number is 3. So the total number of items. So n is the total number of items. So this, what, this is what is a simple average of aggregative method. So methods of constructing index numbers, is that clear? Simple one. This is how it is done. It is very simple. And for the weighted index numbers, you just have to make sure that weights are put there. Okay. So here, so of course, I'll be doing all the numericals right now. My basic aim is for you to understand, to just learn up theory. You should know what it is. Simple aggregative method. This is the formula. Simple average of aggregative method, this is the formula. In the next class, we will be doing some numerical. We'll be new, doing, doing a numerical of each of these. Now, coming to weighted. Let's just do the weighted one. Okay. Otherwise, okay. Is that clear? Okay. Now, in the weighted index numbers, we take the aggregative method and we multiply it with the weights. Now, in this, what are the weights now? What is the formula? Again, P01, that is prices of the current year over the base year, which is index number, is equal to summation of P1 into Q0 divided by summation of P0 into Q0. So you know this. You know that this is known as the aggregative method. This is the aggregative method. Is that right? So if I, let me just take this. So this is the aggregative method. P1 upon P0. Sigma P1. In. Now you have to just multiply this with Q0. Whatever weights or the quantities that you have taken, you will multiply quantities. Here 0 means in the base here. So this is how you will multiply and you get the weighted aggregative method. Now this can be Quantity either in the base year, quantity either in the current year. So you have what is known as Laspier's method, Pasteur's method, Boley method, Fisherian method. All of these will be studied, studied under aggregative method, which we will be doing. Okay, so this we will be doing in greater detail. But basically you have to understand this is the same. P01 is equal to sigma P1 upon P0, which is the aggregated method, into Q0, into Q0. Both. The numerator and the denominator will be multiplied with Q0. The quantities of the base here. Okay, perhaps. So that is weighted aggregative method. Now, weighted average of price index. Now, in this, what do we find? That we take, sorry, we take P01, that is index number, is sigma price relative. That is P1 upon P0 into 100 into weights that are assigned to them. Whatever the weights, whatever we, weights have been assigned, whatever importance has been given into those weights divided by summation of all the weights together. 
that becomes your weighted average of price relative method. So this we are going to uh, do in the ensuing classes as we come up with these classes. So weighted index numbers are with weight. It is the same thing, aggregated method, P1 upon P0, sigma P1 upon P0. Into the weights will give you the weighted index, weighted aggregative method, an average of price relative method. That means you will take, you will work out the relative, price relative of each commodity and then you will, uh, how, how will you do that? P1 upon P0 into 100 of each commodity and then you will uh, sum them up. Uh, rather, you, you, will, uh, you will first work out the price relative and into W of each particular commodity. And then that means weights assigned to each particular commodity will be multiplied at every corresponding with every corresponding item and then you will divide it by sigma w. So with this I hope you understood a little bit of it. I want you to write it down in your books and open your notebooks, uh, sorry open your course book whatever you have textbook that you have go to this chapter make those notes just write down the formula nothing else to be done here don't think how we are going to do about go about it we will do that later on okay so with that